The Commonwealth Savings Bank of Australia, the bank for all the family, takes pleasure in presenting the show for all the family, Life with Dexter. For a car or a bike or just a rainy day Be sure to save the friendly Commonwealth way So listen to this advice and start right today To bank Commonwealth save Commonwealth bank Commonwealth now A few weeks ago I told you how Steve Gallagher talked Dexter Dutton into attending an army reunion with him and deceiving their wives. And this evening I'm going to relate how Steve got Dexter into further marital strife. The story began one Saturday afternoon when Dexter was sitting on his front veranda enjoying the sunshine and Steve Gallagher came through the front gate. Hi there, Dickie boy. You just having a relax and enjoying a spot of sunshine? No, no, Steve. I'm having a relapse after enjoying a tin of boot polish. <laughs> Well, isn't the genius touchy today? What's biting you, Dex? Oh, there's nothing really, Steve. I, I, I'm sorry. I was just having a quiet think and I didn't realise what I was saying. Uh, what's new? What's new, brother, is what I'll be doing next Saturday night. Apart from that, I've got the same old nagging stomach ulcer and the same old nagging lumbago and the same old nagging missus. <laughs> what's this about next Saturday night? Well, that's what I came over to tell you. I've been invited to become a judge. A judge? You couldn't become a judge. You've had too many judges judging you. I don't mean a judge of a courthouse, I mean the judge of a beauty contest. A judge of slick chicks. Ah, a curved connoisseur. Oh, wait a minute, Steve, don't make me laugh. I reckon you'd be interested to know I'm gonna be a judge to pick up Miss Mermaid. Miss Mermaid? Yep, it's a bathing beauty contest for charity. And the widden chick gets a big prize of a free holiday up north. I'm one of the judges that'll be at the School of Arts all a week from tonight. Oh, are you? Well, I'm very happy for you. Good luck. I reckon you're jealous you're not a judge yourself, eh? Me, me, me jealous? Oh, I wouldn't judge a bathing girl mermaid contest if the, if the mermaids were real and had tails instead of legs. <laughs> well, under those circs, I wouldn't be too keen myself. Hey, uh, Dex, uh, you sure you wouldn't like to be a judge? I'm positive. No, thanks. Ah, uh, well, uh, that's too bad on account of, uh, because, uh, well, I'm supposed to find another judge and, um, thought of you. You, you, uh, you, you, you were going to ask me? I was, but I won't. I guess I'll be running along and let you relax. Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute, Steve. I, I mean, if, uh, I mean, if it'll help you out at all, uh, I mean, if you were depending on me, and, and the contest is for charity... No, I... no, no, it's okay. I can find someone else. Yeah, but I, after all, I, I'm your friend, Steve, and I, I... I mean, what are friends for? All right, Dickie boy, you can be my assistant judge. But, uh, what about Jesse? Can uh, you untie yourself from Jesse's apron strings for next Saturday night? I am not tied to my wife's apron strings any more than you're tied to Maud's. I'm not tied to any apron strings. I'm padlocked by a ball and chain. <laughs> Look, Dex, when I get home in a minute, I'm going to soft soap, Morty. I'm going to be so sweet to her, she'll have to let me off the hook next Saturday. Mind you, I'll give her a wrong steer as to where I'm going. Well, I certainly won't be doing that. I, I might soft soap Jessie a little if I have to, and I, I might lean on the, the charity angle a bit, but I, I'll say where I'm going and what I'll be doing. Brother, in my ass, that'd be suicide. <laughs> Anyhow, Dex, uh, I'll see you here in the same spot on your veranda at ten in the morning. All right, we'll meet here at ten and compare notes. I just hope we won't be comparing bumps and bruises. Speaking about comparing notes reminds me that you and I should compare notes about taxation refunds. By the way, have you received your refund check yet? Many thousands of people have, you know. A great many of those people have paid their refund checks into their Commonwealth Savings Bank accounts. And believe me, there's no better place for your check than in the Commonwealth Savings Bank account. And that is true no matter how big or how small that check may be. Tax refunds represent money you earned. 
What is more important, money already saved for you. So isn't it just plain common sense to get full value for it? By banking it now and adding to it each week, you'll soon have enough to buy something to give you lasting pleasure. If you don't know how to endorse your check, the friendly staff at any Commonwealth Savings Bank office will show you what to do. Follow the lead of 5,300,000 people who week by week bank Commonwealth. Mum, why isn't compost home for dinner tonight? Compost is di... Janie is out to dinner and a movie with a young man. Oh, poor goon. Dexter, what's wrong with you this evening? Uh, oh, look, if something's bothering you, I'd like to know what. Oh, no, no, nothing's bothering me, dear. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just completely enraptured by this superbly cooked, tantalising corned beef. Hmm. I always thought you weren't over fond of corned beef. Oh, Jessie, I, I'm mad about anything your clever hands prepare and cook. Uh, you know, you should be on the radio. I often think that with, it, with your own little session giving hints to housewives. Dear, uh, are you sure you're feeling all right? Well, of course. I, I give you a little compliment here and there, and they're sincerely meant. I know I'm a lucky husband, Jessie, and I have a lovely, devoted, understanding companion for my spouse. Oh, oh Mum, Mum, I wouldn't stand for that. He called you a spouse. <laughs> well, I am a spouse. I'm your father's spouse. Or wife. Oh, heck, it sounds like a swear word. <laughs> Ashley, I just hope when you grow up, you'll fall in love with a woman just like your mother. Yeah, I guess I might. But it's more likely I'll fall for a single chick about 18. <laughs> mm. Sorry, Mum. You can search the length and breadth of the earth and you won't find a more understanding girl than your mother. Oh, understanding. <laughs> Now, hold on a minute, Dexter. If you think you're going off to play poker with Steve Gallagher tonight, you've got another thing coming. Now, oh dear, well, wherever did you get that silly idea? How could you be so suspicious and uncharitable as to think a thing like that? Well, I... Well, I'm sorry, dear. I didn't mean to be uncharitable. It's not like you, Jessie. You would be one of the most charitable women in the world. In fact, whenever there's any work to be done for charity, you're always the first one to offer her services. Hey, what's all this got to do with the price of lemons? You just be quiet. <laughs> the word charity came up and we're just discussing it. Your mother does a lot for charity and whenever I'm given a job to help a charity, she's the first person to say, good on you, dear, go out and do it. Yes, well, all right, dear, but uh, can't we change the subject? Any time you have a charity to help, I won't argue about it. Well, of course you won't, because you have that heart of gold. You're the type of wife who'd even understand if I had to give a talk at a, a women's meeting or, or uh, even if I had to perhaps be the judge at a swimming carnival. Yes, or, dear, or... yes. Mm, I'd understand if you had to be a judge at anything. Unless, of course, it was something silly, like a bathing beauty contest. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Now look, Morty Love, if I gotta go to a meeting next week, I gotta go. Oh no, you don't! <laughs> what night next week? Well, the others ain't sure yet, but uh, it could be any night. It uh, could even be next uh, Saturday night. As if you didn't already know what night it's gonna be, and also what kind of a night it's gonna be. I don't know what night, but I do know what kind. I told you a dozen times it's a special meeting of... Uh, Local used car dealers. Well, you'll be the only bum that ain't there. <laughs> Meeting of used car dealers. I'm supposed to swallow that? You honestly asked me to swallow that? I know what I'd like you to swallow, but you'd only swallow it once. What was that clever remark? Uh, I uh, said uh, I'd uh, like you to swallow it on account of, uh, well, it's the truth for once. The truth? You telling the truth went out with the black bottom. Now look, Gallagher. You've got no chance of getting out to play poker next week or any other week. Who said anything about playing poker? When you nick out of the ass of a night, it's either to do your dough at poker or duck off to an army reunion. Morty, it's not either of them things, I swear. Look, I'll swear right here and now. You can swear like a bullock driver, but you're not going! I'm obliged to go, I want to go, and I am going. You're not 
obliged to go. I don't want you to go. You have to go it. <laughs> Boy. I'm right on time. Yeah, you're also wasting your time. I won't be going. Sure, you'll be going. Same as I'll be going. Oh, not me. Although I didn't mention judging bathing beauties, I, I got a pretty clear picture that Jesse wouldn't stand for it. Well, you don't think Morty would stand for it either, but I'll still be there. And so will you. In fact, I phoned up the charity committee half an hour ago and told the president we'd be available for the job. You... You what? Look, Dex, we can't let these people down now. They're dependent on two important businessmen to do the judging. And we're it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Dex, um, what we've got to do is attend this charity parade next Saturday and do the job in hand. But, but without antagonising our old bags, our little wives. <laughs> it all boils down to this. We've got to be cruel to be kind. What you're trying to say is that the kind and good thing for us both to do is not let down the charity committee people, but at the same time not let down our wives by telling them the truth and hurting them. Exactly. In other words, this cannot be called deception unless it's called noble, unselfish, kindly, martyr-like deception. Gallagher, I'll do it. Yes, I I'll be cruel to be kind. Now, tell me, what kind of a big fib do we tell our wives about Saturday night? We don't. We don't tell them anything. I've come up with a brilliant idea what would make Einstein jealous. Now, first of all, Dex, you've got to know this. I found out that the beauty contest don't start till ten o'clock. It sort of comes at the wind-up of a tame old variety concert. No bathing beauty contest till ten o'clock. No, no, but that's going to suit my idea perfect. Dickie boy? My fantastic plan all has to do with sleepwalking. Sleep... Sleepwalking? But, but, but how? Well, every night from now till Saturday, I'm going to do a bit of phony sleepwalking. Of course, each time I do it, I'll bowl something over and make a noise so Morty will find me and put me back to bed. Now, come Saturday night, I'll sleepwalk me way to the garage without making a sound, change me clothes, visit the School of Arts Hall, and do me little charity job of judging bathing beauties. Then what? Then back to me garage, change back into me night attire, and sleepwalk me way back to bed. <laughs> oh, look, I don't get it. Why all that trouble? I mean, why not just sneak out while Maud's asleep and then sneak in back again? Oh, sometimes you're a sparrow brain. <laughs> That, you see, the only time Morty's likely to wake up is when I'm sneaking from the bedroom or sneaking back in. And if I'm sleepwalking in pyjamas, I'm as innocent as a newborn baby. Yeah, and your plan is as smooth as a newborn baby's bottle. <laughs> all right, all right, we'll say it's a perfect plan for you, but where do I come in? Dicky boy, the plan's for both of us. You're going to work the same angle as me to the letter. I'm going... Y y you mean I have to sleepwalk every night from now till Saturday? Sure you do. Just make sure someone wakes up every night and finds out about your new audible complaint. Oh, Steve, no, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I could act the part. How would I go about looking like a, a sleepwalker? Dex, for you it's easy. <laughs> you just shove both arms out in front of you and look like you look all day and every day. <laughs> You sleep, dear? Uh, you sleep, dear? Oh, this is it. Here I go. Better keep my hands outstretched like that. Uh, uh. I'll walk along the hallway here tonight and knock that brass thing off the hall stand. It's too cold to go too far. <laughs> now, where are we? Yes, it won't hurt this stupid thing to bounce on the floor. Here we go. Well, come on, somebody. I'll have to pick it up and drop it again. Oh, ow, oh, oh, my foot. Oh, 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 I bashed myself on the foot. Oh, oh. Dexter, oh, uh, Dexter, for goodness sake, what is it? What's happened? Oh, I, I, what happened? Uh, well, my, uh, I mean, uh, 
Where am I? I, I, I oh, I'm in pain. I, I, where am I? What am I doing here? Where, where am I? Well, you should know. You tell us. Jesse, I shouldn't be here at all. I was in bed. And, no, no, I wasn't. I, I was walking. I was walking through clouds. Walking, just walking, walking. <laughs> Mum, Pop must have been walking in his sleep. Oh, nonsense. Your father's never walked in his sleep before. Yeah, that, that's what I was doing. I, I must have been. I was walking through clouds and I could see my office in the distance when suddenly, suddenly I, I felt this awful pain, this agonizing pain. Oh, my foot. No, Jessie, mine. <laughs> Judging by the amount of noise Dexter had to make to wake his family, his house would be an easy mark for burglars. And speaking of that reminds me that there are still many people who underestimate burglars' capabilities. You still find people who hide money under the carpet or the mattress, in the refrigerator or stove, in the coffee pot or other places where burglars find it in record time. Smart people don't leave money in their homes. They pay it into a Commonwealth Savings Bank account. So if you have more money in your house now than you want to lose, pay it into the Commonwealth Savings Bank tomorrow. Once in the Commonwealth Savings Bank, your money is completely safe and available only to you. No burglar can take it from you. No fire or flood can destroy it. So take my advice. Every time you see a Commonwealth Savings Bank sign, ask yourself whether you have more cash on you than you can afford to lose. If you have, hop into the bank and pay it in. And from now on, week by week, Bank Commonwealth. Jessie, dear, you, you look tired this morning. Tired? Dexter, this is Saturday morning and you've awakened me every night since last Sunday night. Oh, you'll have to see a psychiatrist about your sleepwalking. Oh, well, there's no need for that, dear. I, I've got a feeling I won't ever sleepwalk again after tonight. I, I mean, I, I, that I won't ever again sleepwalk a, as from now. But how do I know that it won't become worse and worse? Uh, Mum, if you ask me, it's just a phase Dad's going through. He's uh, at that age, you know. <laughs> Well, no one will be woken up with me sleepwalking again, I can tell you that, Jessie. I'll, I'll, in fact, I'll guarantee it. I, I'm just going out onto the veranda for a while to read the paper. Sing out when lunch is ready. Good night, Dexter. Oh, oh, uh, 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 oh. What's the matter? What's the matter? It's only me. Only you. You're enough to frighten anyone any time. <laughs> hey, there's a plan coming along. Got your family convinced you're a confirmed sleepwalker? Yeah, so much so that Jesse wants me to see a psychiatrist. A head shrinker, eh? Dickie boy, don't you ever see one of them jokers or they might put you away where you belong. <laughs> ah, very, very funny. And don't you ever let Sir Edward Holstrom get a look at you. <laughs> oh, let's not argue today, Dex. Tonight's the big night. <sighs> Listen, Steve, just one thing. I want you to know that I think this whole scheme is pretty awful. I'm only going through with it because I don't want to let down a friend and because it's helping charity. Your whole plan is deceitful, conniving, detestable and nauseatingly repulsive. Yeah, but well not only that, but it's going to be a lot of fun, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, love, can I come in? Oh, why more? Jess, come on in. Isn't it a glorious afternoon? Oh, look, it's such a grouse Saturday. I thought it hoovered a bit in the sun. And when I got to your front gate, I says to myself, Morty girl, barge in on Jessie and she might bung on a cuppa. <laughs> and I'm glad you did. I'll be bunging on a cuppa any minute now. How's young snail? And Steve. You mean, how's young snail, an old slug? Well, the snail's quite healthy, growing out of his school strides faster than I can patch him. As for me old man, he's so healthy, he goes walk about every night. He goes what? Every night this week. As soon as I've gone off to sleep, Steve started sleepwalking like a zombie. Ste St Steve sleepwalks every night? Yeah, then wakes me up, I bash him into something. 
Oh, I've just been having an awful blue with him. I told him to go and see a doc, and he says to me, Morty, love, I promise you, you won't be bothered with me sleepwalking anymore. But Dexter said that to me this morning. Dexter? Jesse, you mean your old man's also a walk and dream every night? Every night this week. Oh, how? <laughs> Strikes me as being a trifle mullety. <laughs> mullety? Yeah. Fishy. <laughs> Them two was up to something. Like the last time they was up to buzzing off to that army reunion. Oh, I still boil when I think of that little episode. Yeah, well, ever since that night, Steve's had to part his hair on the opposite side to cover up the scar. <laughs> Jesse, love, you know, when you think of it, this sleepwalking racket's a perfect lead up for our husbands to nick out again one night. Yes, Maud. And tonight would be the most likely night. Oh, hi, love. Oh, hi, Mrs. Gallagher. Hello, Ashley, love. Oh, Ashley, before you go upstairs, do you happen to know if uh, there's been any whisper of an army reunion in town tonight? Oh, heck no, Mum. Uh, that's only once a year, and the last one was only a couple of months ago. Uh, you should know. Ashley, would you perhaps know of anything else special on in the district? I mean, like a Bucks party or something? No, sir. No, I know everything that goes on and there's nothing on tonight except a mad variety concert in the School of Arts Hall. Oh, well, a, a variety concert isn't exactly what we're looking for. Oh, this one's madder than usual. At the end of the concert, they're going to have a bathing beauty contest with big prizes. <laughs> well, I'll see you, girls. Bathing beauty contest? Ashley, who told you about the bathing beauty contest? Oh, I heard lots of people discussing it and... This morning, as I went out the front gate, Dad and Mr. Gallagher were saying something about it. See ya! Aha! Aha! Morty, when I see Dexter... Now, I'm Jesse, let's not be too hasty and spoil things. This calls for a campaign. And when it comes to campaigning, I'm not known as Colonel Blake for nothing! <laughs> Comes numbers five and six. I, I, that, that brunette's very pretty. Oh, I go for number six, the blonde. She's a juicy little peach. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm not putting my marks down on paper till they come down the stage steps and walk up near us again. Yeah, hey, 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 they're coming down now. Ooh, that blonde in the bikini. Shh. Now, I think the brunette in the one piece suit, number five, I'm giving her a 90 plus. Forget it, forget it. Look at this little doll. Hiya, beautiful. Shh. We're not allowed to speak to the girls, and, and they can't speak to us. Bye-bye, girls. Oh, now, here comes seven and eight onto the stage. Look at number seven in that black satin. Oh, uh, no thanks. I'm too busy looking at number eight in that white shark skin. Hey. I suppose she is wearing white shark skin. Of course she is. Shh. Well, look, the girls are coming down. Number eight's the winner of the contest for my money. I say that without looking at any more girls, which I'm still going to do. Hello there, you little grey nurse, you. Gallagher, will you stop making a fool of yourself? Now the next two are making an appearance. Hey, look, number nine's a bit long in the tooth. <laughs> yeah, but look at ten. She's a bag. Yeah. <laughs> she... She's Morty. Oh. The other one's Jesse. Hi, Dex. Hi. Hi. No, it's too late. They've seen us. They're coming down. Oh, oh. Good evening, Dexter. Hello, Gallagher. Will I win a prize in me neck to knee? <laughs> Uh, I, uh, uh, look, Morty, I, uh, 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 uh Jesse, you see, I, 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 uh, uh, you tell us, Steve. Who, me? Oh, well, uh, well, girls, we're, uh, we're just, uh, judging this contest to, uh, to, uh, to help charity? Yeah, 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 to, to, to help charity. Yeah, and, uh, we uh, didn't tell you about it because, uh, because, uh, 
because it... Hey, it's your turn, Dickie boy. Hey, right. Uh, yeah, well, you see, dear, it was because we were afraid you might m understand. Oh, now, boys, you go right ahead and finish judging your contest. Uh, we'll just sit here because we're not really in it. No, that's right. And after you both finish judging the bathing beauty contest, we're all going back to Jessie's house where you boys can judge another contest between me and Jessie. Another contest? Well, uh, what contest between you and Jessie? The husband bashing contest! Well, I venture to say that right at this moment, Dexter and Steve are wishing they'd never left home tonight. That reminds you that people are always wishing about something. In fact, there's not a day goes past without you hear someone say, well, I wish I could afford a long holiday, or I wish I had a home like so-and-so, or I wish I had a new spring outfit. That's to put the matter bluntly. These people are trying to make their wishbones take the place of backbones. Let me show you what I mean. The people you see enjoying holidays, buying homes, new clothes, and other things are people who save regularly in a Commonwealth Savings Bank account. But saving isn't easy, it takes backbone. And believe me, if you put a little backbone, a little determination into saving in a Commonwealth Savings Bank account, you'll soon be able to buy the things you're wishing for. So why envy other people? Open a Commonwealth Savings Bank account yourself and save for the good things of life. Join the 5,300,000 people who week by week bank Commonwealth. <laughs> If money can buy it, saving will get it, so bank Commonwealth now. For a car or a bike or just a rainy day, be sure to save the friendly Commonwealth way. So listen to this advice and start right today to bank Commonwealth, save Commonwealth Bank, Commonwealth now. Life with Dexter is produced by Noel Judd and written by Willie Fennell. <laughs> and this is John Dunn inviting you to enjoy Life with Dexter at the same time next week from this station. And remember, you'll always enjoy life with a Commonwealth Savings Bank account. And all the family will enjoy the hilarious adventures of Dexter in Life with Dexter books. Buy a fun-packed Life with Dexter book at any news agency.